Hi guys, Ryan with Ventura Realty. Today I want to talk about installing any 12 volt device on your battery golf cart that runs 36 volt or 48 volt, uh, even 72 volt um, uh, golf carts. So what you'll need to do um, in a nutshell is you need to isolate 12 volts uh, out of your series of batteries. So if we come over and take a look at what we have here, this particular cart is a 48 volt cart. Now, it's real easy for me to determine which two terminals will give me 48 because the two wires that run down to the motor uh, or the solenoid and motor come off of these terminals. So if I touch these two, you can see there, 49 volts, so we know that this is our full 48 volt system. So obviously we wouldn't want to connect a 12 volt appliance to the wrong terminals because you definitely can uh, just short it out um, if you know, bare minimum blow a fuse. So what you need to do is you need to look at the batteries uh, and determine first of all what the voltage is of each battery. These particular batteries are six volt batteries. Uh, so that means that every two batteries wired in series will give you 12 volts. And when it's in series, you'll notice that these two batteries, for example, that you'll have the negative terminal of one battery connected to the positive terminal of the, the next battery and then so on. That's series. So what we need to do is we need to determine if this positive terminal of this battery and the negative terminal of this battery gives us 12 volts and it should. And it does. As you can see there, this is 12 volts. Now if I were to go another battery over and touch the negative terminal to that battery, you can see now that we're at 18 volts and it's just going to keep getting every battery that I go in series and I touch is gonna increase by six volts. That's what a series uh, a chain looks like uh, when you're measuring voltage. We want 12 volts for this, for, for the particular application that um, uh, we're looking at doing. Um, so just, you wanna make sure that you verify that with a meter, get your 12 volts. Those will be the two terminals uh, that you'll need to connect to for your 12 volt appliance. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of this. Have a great day.